All right, it was on this day, July 9th, 1981, where Japanese toy company Nintendo introduced what would become two of the most famous characters in video game history, Donkey Kong and Mario. A strange pairing, a man and ape, that came about after a flop of the game called Radar Scope left Nintendo with thousands of unused arcade cabinets and serious financial troubles. Nintendo's president then turned to his 29-year-old designer, Shigeru Miyamoto, to come up with something else, something that would resonate with U.S. audiences. Now, the result, it was a love triangle between a gorilla, a carpenter, and a woman. Crazy, I know. But what was really unique about this was that Donkey Kong would become the first so-called platform game, where characters jump over obstacles in multiple stages that together had a linear story arc tying everything all together. That's commonplace now, but it was revolutionary at the time. Now, the game was a massive hit in the U.S., with Nintendo selling at least 60,000 cabinets within 12 months, making Donkey Kong the highest-grossing arcade game of 1981. Donkey Kong Jr. followed in 1982, Donkey Kong 3 in 1983, and shortly after that, Nintendo, it gave Mario a brother, Luigi. And that brings us to our question of the day. Miyamoto had originally modeled the game of the cartoon Love Triangle between Popeye, Bluto, and Olive Oil. But Nintendo was unable to secure the rights to the Popeye characters, which led Miyamoto to come up with the idea of using a great ape as a stand-in for Bluto. Now, the mid-80s, boom in home video game consoles further aided the brand and the success of Donkey Kong helped Nintendo become one of the most dominant video game companies of all time. Iconic consoles like the NES, the Game Boy, and the Wii. But times have changed a lot since then, and the gaming market is way more crowded. Just two months ago, in May, Nintendo said it had bought Shiver Entertainment to bring more games from outside developers to its next-gen Switch platform after decades of relying on its own software. The company, it's also embraced Hollywood. The first Super Mario movie followed a decade of internal discussions and hand-wringing, reticent over whether they should do it. But those fears, they were quickly allied. Super Mario Brothers, released back in April 2023, went on to gross more than $1.3 billion worldwide, making it the second best performing film last year, right after Barbie.